people come to us at Jelvix with all kinds of requests and ideas. Today, we'll tell you about our experience in developing an Uber-like app. Watch till the end to see how many hours of work this project took us. We're Jelvix, a software development partner for industry leaders. We post weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, use the super thanks feature to support our channel so we can deliver more great content. So when a customer approached us, we first, of course, needed to provide them with an estimation. In our experience, the cost to develop a full-featured ride-sharing app can range from $60,000 to $200,000, depending on its complexity. This estimate includes analysis, design, development, testing, deployment, and project management costs. Also, remember that this cost does not include advertising and product maintenance costs. Unfortunately, we've met entrepreneurs who have had failures with budget planning, so take it seriously. After we agreed to start the project with our customer, we then moved on to discussing details and the scope of the work. This is where we brainstorm and put the app together like a constructor. Now, it's a good time you like this video and subscribe to the channel. We'd love it. As we're developing a ride-sharing service, we needed an efficient app for drivers, a separate app for customers, and an admin platform. Let's take the driver's app. Our design team kept in mind that as a driver, minimal interaction with the app is crucial to ensure their focus remains on the road. Here's our key feature list. Accept order, start, cancel, complete order, view order info, active or inactive status, calling a passenger and chat, reports of bookings and earnings, and GPS location. For the user app, we needed the following features, first of all, geolocation and routing, payment integration, chat with a driver, calling, ride cost estimation, rate driver, ride scheduling, and split fare with friends. We also got involved in developing the admin platform that binds the service together. Our clients team uses this admin app to manage users, service providers, monitor analytics, run promotions, and more. So by this point, we had a ready vision of the future product. All that was left was to assemble a development team. To do that, we needed to understand the tech stack of the project. We thought something like this. Java and Kotlin for Android apps and Swift for iOS apps. For the backend, we were considering Node.js or Python. MongoDB and PostgreSQL are for databases. Of course, we needed Google Maps API for location-based services and Stripe or PayPal for payment gateways. To host the app, we go for cloud services like AWS or Google Cloud. As you can see, many different technologies were involved. So we needed a broad team, including designers, developers, testers, and project managers. Designers focus on the app's look and user experience. Developers write the code. Testers ensure the app works as expected. And the project manager manages the whole process of development. After the team was ready to go, we started the design and development phase. Over the couple following weeks, our team developed a functional MVP with the chosen set of features. And here's what happened. Our customer had a change of vision for the project. We won't go into details, but the client asked us to add some features after the development had started. It made us revise the app's architecture, urgently add new people to the team, and change plans, which caused a delay. So our advice, remember, Changing features mid-cycle may delay your delivery, so be sure of what you want before you start. Now it was time for some real-world action after the MVP was out in the wild. After its release, we made sure we monitor user feedback and be ready to squash any bugs that creep up. Our customer was meanwhile working on marketing the app and attracting new users. At the same time, we were working on introducing new features. For example, for the driver's app, we started working on hit maps to see the parts of the map with the highest demand of service. So in fact, this story doesn't end here, 
since we keep working on improving the app and introducing new features. And you might be wondering, how much time did creating this MVP take? In fact, developing iOS and Android apps for passengers and drivers and creating an admin panel took us 2,090 hours. Hopefully it helps to figure out our timing and pricing for a similar app development project. And if you're looking for more inspiration, we recommend watching our video about live streaming app development. Lots of insights there. Also, support us by liking this video and leaving a comment. And remember to subscribe and press the bell button. Bye for now.